story to tell. China's TAF-05 amphibious fighting vehicle is considered the backbone of Beijing's amphibious strategy. First appearing in 2012, the TAF-05 was quickly equipped in large numbers and became the mainstay of amphibious operations, play an important role in improving the amphibious combat capability of the Chinese military. The TAF-05 amphibious fighting vehicle has a total weight of 28 tons, is equipped with high-powered turbocharged engine and a new suspension system. So the vehicle has very good maneuverability. In terms of swimming ability, with two water jets, the vehicle can swim a speed of up to 20 kilometers in sea level 3 conditions. In recent years, the TAF-05 has had many major upgrades, such as a main gun capable of firing missiles, replacing the GPS navigation system with the Bay 2, a new information system, etc. TAF-05 is advertised as having a relatively strong offensive ability. Its main armament is a 105mm L7 rifle gun, a copy of the British 105mm L7 gun. This gun was previously installed on the TAF-63A amphibious fighting vehicle. TAF-05 uses two main types of ammunition, armor-piercing and anti-infantry explosive shells. It carried a total of 38 rounds. To improve anti-tank effectiveness, TAF-05A upgraded the ability to launch missiles through the main gun. It uses laser-guided missiles with a maximum range of up to 5 km. The probability of hitting the targets is 90%. Missiles launched from the main gun, in theory, have a perfect chance to help TAF-05 destroy enemy's main battle tanks. However, in the context that all MBTs have very strong active self-defense capabilities, the chance of the TAF-05 victory are small. With the new Bay 2 navigation system, China wants to use a completely domestic satellite and communication system, ensuring the maximum level of secrecy and not being afraid of foreign influences. However, the death point of this system comes from its popularity. Compared with the US GPS, the coverage rate of the Bay 2 satellite in the world is much less. This makes the PLA Navy's amphibious strategy abroad likely to be very difficult. TAF-05 also has a large LCD screen, which helps to control information about complex and rapidly changing battlefield situations. However, the effectiveness of this system has not been proven, especially in the environment of strong electronic suppression. With the powerful upgrades of the TAF-05, 
China hopes that it will improve the information processing ability and comprehensive combat effectiveness of the amphibious force. In fact, the PLA has not successfully organized a large-scale amphibious assault since its inception. In contrast, the United States is a country with too much experience in transoceanic warfare, with the ability to conduct amphibious assurance and provide extremely effective logistics. Obviously, experience is something China takes time to accumulate. My video about the Chinese Tap 05 amphibious fighting vehicle answer. Thank you for watching. You find this video interesting? Please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos. Tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại quý vị và các bạn trong các video tiếp theo.